Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we're looking at three center consoles that can venture offshore and bring the family along in comfort. Mid-sized center consoles offer the ability to fish for dolphin, dive the reef, live bait for sailfish, or even cruise inshore on days when the offshore breeze is a bit too stiff. These boats can also be towed by a standard size pickup and powered with a modest pair of twin outboards. What you'll find with the center console in the 26 foot to 30 foot range is that you have most of the same capabilities of much larger craft, but with more maneuverability and less expense. Some key features to look for in this class of center console boats are, if taking the family along is a requirement, a boat with easy access into a large console or cabin will make a day on the water more enjoyable. Having ample cockpit space for multiple anglers or divers is where a 26 to 30 foot center console really shines. Dive or transom doors, as they're sometimes called, make getting in and out of the water much easier. To accommodate an array of today's electronics, you'll need a functional console layout for flush screen displays and switch panels. A large live bait well is a must-have feature on any center console that is going to be used for hardcore offshore fishing. Successful anglers will appreciate built-in insulated fish boxes to keep their catch fresh. To have control of your boat's electrical systems and monitor the condition of your batteries, it's important to have easy access to systems. If your mission is fishing offshore, you'll want a tackle station and plenty of storage. Comfortable bow seating is a feature that allows a fishing machine to also be used as the family cruiser. Join our hosts Dave East and Rick Riles as they feature three center console boats in the 26 to 30 foot range that are designed for fishing hard in blue water without leaving your family behind. They are the Belzona 277 Walkaround with an overall length of 27 feet 7 inches, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches, and max horsepower rating of 450. The Dusky 278 with an overall length of 27 feet 8 inches, a beam of 8 feet 5 inches, and max horsepower rating of 450. And the Century 2600 with an overall length of 26 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 450. They'll be conducting walkthroughs, test drives, and reviewing key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Welcome to this episode of Best Boat. I'm Dave East, boating editor of Florida Sportsman Magazine. And I'm Rick Riles, program director of Florida Sportsman Radio. In today's episode, we're gonna look at some center console boats the next evolutionary step for an offshore fisherman that really wants to extend his range. I'm talking about a guy that wants to go to the Bahamas, go to the DeSoto Canyon, maybe go to the middle grounds, or really get far away from the inlet. Dave, we're all descendants of Christopher Columbus. Okay, think about it. Christopher Columbus wanted to see what was out there, wanted to know if the world was flat. But when I was a kid, I had a 17-foot wooden boat. Well, I knew the jetties were there with Spanish mackerel and king mackerel. Couldn't reach them. Okay, then we moved to a 20-foot boat. There's a wreck 10 miles offshore. It's got sailfish on it, Dave. Couldn't reach them. Once you get up to 27 feet and get into that class from 27 to 30, there is no longer a fish in the ocean that you can't reach. Well, what I like about this class of boat, too, is you haven't really overcommitted yourself. You're not in that mega center console yet, so a modest pair of twins will push the boat fine. You can still tow this boat behind a, you know, like a one-ton pickup truck. You can store it easily. It doesn't have to stay in the water. So this is a boat that will really, really extend your range, but you haven't made that huge leap into that mega center console yet. You, you haven't changed it into a lifestyle. Think about it. It can still be part of your family, okay? It's not a whole nother entity that you have to care for 365. Well, the three boats that we brought today really show this class better than a lot of the other episodes because we've got the Dusky, which is your hardcore tournament boat. Then we move up to the Century. We want a few more family features, nice bow seating. And then we go to the Belzona. This is a boat, it's really a center console, but it's got a lot of cutty features. It's a boat that you can fish like a center console, but spend the night in. And you and your wife can take them out or you can take your buddies and fish anywhere you want to fish. Right, all three boats, similar in size, but three distinct missions. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by My FWC. Life jackets save lives. Dads are great. They keep us safe. They teach us all kinds of stuff and do fun things with us. 
They can be really funny. I think about my dad a lot. I miss him. I wish he had thought about me and worn his life jacket. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we'll be featuring family-friendly offshore center consoles in the 26 to 30 foot range. All right, now we're gonna check out the Belzona 277 walk around. And to call this boat a center console, I guess you can because you can fish it 360 degrees, but it's so much more than a center console. Yeah, that's why center consoles were invented, was for 360 degrees of fishing room, if you think about it. So it's got all the pluses of it, but they got room for you. You can go spend a long weekend on this boat. Oh, easily. If you look down inside the cabin, it is really luxurious, and I've never seen a 27-foot boat have a cabin this nice. There's a lot of cutties out there, uh, but it, nothing like this. Nothing you can fish 360 degrees and nothing to this level of fit and finish. The Belzona has so many things that enhance the experience. Well, to find a boat that has this many amenities in a 27-foot package, it's really nice because it's still trailerable. It's really, to my, in my opinion, it's the right size for someone that wants to step up a little bit bigger than maybe a 23 center, and they don't want to make that jump into a full cabin boat. This boat might be the perfect compromise. Let's take a look on it and see what we like. All right, we're going to start here in the center of this Belzona because this is the only logical place to start. This area of the boat is what sets it apart from other center consoles. It is. There's so many things here that enhance the experience of taking a boat offshore. If it's not the rocket launcher that turns into extremely comfortable seating, you taught me all about that with bass boats, it's the entrance to the cabin where it should be, and it leads into a great cabin for a boat this size. Well, it does, and if you look at the helm, I like the fact that they've got all their electronics in line here. They have plenty enough room here to mount all the electronics you would need. In, as a pilot, as you're standing here, you have plenty of room for two people next to you, but everybody's behind the comfort of this wraparound windshield. So it's almost like you have the protection of a pilot house, but you've got the accessibility of a center console. They've done a great job with the design of this. I love the fact that they have their anchor up on the bow. So when you bring up that windlass, you can see that your anchor's up and clear. Well, as we're talking about the bow, let's walk up there because the cushion that's on the front of this is where the family is gonna be spending most of their time. Really, really comfortable lounge. It's kind of unique in the fact that it's got a little headrest built into it. But this is where your wife and your kids are gonna spend most of the time on this boat. Rick, when was the last time you saw a fishing boat that had this much comfort for somebody to come sit up here on the bow? Forget sitting up here. This is designed for laying in the sun and taking a nap. This thing is laid out right to be comfortable. Well, another thing about this pad is, wait till you see what's down below it inside this cabin. Like I said earlier, I've never seen a cabin on a boat this size, this luxurious. It is a place where you can go, you can get out of the sun, you can soak up some AC, but I could easily see spending a weekend on this boat over in the islands, no problem. So now let's go down and let's see what's below this cushion inside this cabin, because it's absolutely gorgeous. Here's what I like about the cabin. I'll very often trailer 50 miles, but maybe I got a weekend. I'm gonna fish Saturday and Sunday. Ho, ho, ho. Put my stuff away at the end of the day on Saturday, hop down here, grab a quick shower, turn up the AC. I don't have to drive all the way back home. It's perfect for back-to-back -back fishing days. When was the last time you saw a 27-foot boat with a head that big? You got a nice porcelain head in there. You got plenty of room for a shower. There's a lot of room to get in there and move around. You're not really cramped, and they've done it all in a 27-foot boat. Let me tell you what, I can do without a lot of things at the end of the day. There is nothing that feels better than a shower and a little AC after a long day's fishing. Oh, it does. And speaking of fishing, now let's make our way to the back of the boat and look at the cockpit because there's plenty of room back there to get all the fishing done that you want to do. That's what you're going to love about this boat. Okay, this is what I was talking about, the size of the cockpit back here. I like the seat. This is a great place where you can sit and you can rig baits as we're heading offshore. It's a nice stable place where I can be putting stuff together. Once we get to the fishing grounds, you're ready to go. Live well right here. You got insulated storage for all your ballyhoo right there. Yeah, it's laid out well with plenty of room, Dave. You can fish, gosh, you can fish six people on this boat without an issue. Well, you've got a little tackle station back here, but the side door over here, dual purpose. You can dive on this boat, way to get in and out of the water really easy, but let's say you catch that big fish of a lifetime, so much easier to drag him through a door like that than it is to try and muscle him over the gunnel. A lot of times too, when you pull up to a dock, it's a lot easier to open that door and it makes it easier to get on and off the dock, especially a floating dock, which is gonna be close to the same level. Just a lot of things that make that door so much more practical on a boat, and especially in a boat this size. Normally, 27 foot boat, you don't see a side door like that. Let me give you another application you haven't thought of. Tagging fish, and measuring fish, almost all fish anymore, have size limits on them. 
You want to slide a cobia through, see if he's long enough. There's no strain for him getting lifted over the gunnel or anything. Wet your deck, slide him in, doesn't make it, slide him back. Well, we've got rod holders in the gunnel. We've got rod holders under the gunnel. So if somebody's looking for a boat that they can fish out of, they can dive out of, they can take the family, maybe they want to spend weekends on the boat, this Belzona 277 might be the exact boat they're looking for. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Yamaha's next generation V6 four strokes are changing the game. Mid range power was awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. Couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a. Just. It was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are like, it's a whole other game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself during the Yamaha Discover V6 Offshore Demo Tour. See why we call it the game changer. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we'll be featuring family-friendly offshore center consoles in the 26 to 30 foot range. Okay. Tell you what, I'm ready for our next boat. You know how much I love the classics. One of the first boats I ever fished offshore on, a 20 foot dusky center console. Well, you know, sometimes simple is better, but sometimes complex is better. It really depends on what the individual fisherman wants in his boat. It's the beauty of Dusky. Every boat's custom built. So you can get the boat as simple and plain as you want, or you can get it as dolled out as you want, with the maximum amount of electronics, all the features that you want. You sit down with the Browns, you design the boat that you want from the start. They've been building them for 50 years, and you're exactly right. On their boats, you can put everything you need and nothing you don't because each one is built by the Brown family to what you want, what's the best boat for you. Well, let's take a walk aboard this 278 and look at some of the features that they put on this particular boat. One thing that blew me away was it's got over-the-top electronics that you normally don't see but on a big mega yacht, but yet their console is large enough to fit that amount of electronics on, something you normally don't see on a boat in 27 foot range. Uh, you're exactly right. I thought of the Starship Enterprise. I could picture a Hura sitting there in her chair. You know, it just, <laughs> It's just what that console reminds you of. Well, let's take a look at it. Come on. All right, you come out of the world of big sport fish. Normally, a 27-foot boat is not going to have a console big enough to accept this amount of electronics. So what they did is they built a console where you can do pretty much put any kind of screen you want, and that's really important. People a lot of times buy a boat, then they go buy their electronics only to find that they won't fit. Yes, but look at the way this hull's built. She's got plenty of beam amidships to where you still got plenty of room to come walk and buy the console. This console is wide, but it's clearly not too wide for this boat. Oh, not at all. Another thing I like about the console, it's big enough for a large step-down head. If you're going to bring the wife and the family aboard, they're going to want to have a potty. Go underneath this console, it's got a real marine head down here, not just some little porta potty and there's plenty of room to go down there and use it. A lot of other boats that we looked at, they had potties, but you had to go through a door that small and you were cramped. And here, you've got a nice big door, you step down in there, plenty of room, you're not going to feel claustrophobic. Well, the storage is another big plus too, because this is a boat that you easily can make a long run with. You're going to take a lot of stuff with you. You've got plenty of storage inside this console to take everything that you need without it laying out on the deck. Think about how much kite fishing has changed South Florida fishing and so many of the sailfish tournaments and all. You're going to need helium tanks. you got the room for them. All right, now that we've covered the technology of this boat, let's get back here in the cockpit where all the action takes place. All right, this comfortable seat we're sitting on, it does fold out of the way, but you know what? I don't know that I'd be too quick to get rid of it. This is a great place to sit as we're running offshore, but then even as we're fishing, I may sit back here and rig tackle. Well, that's because you never watch the baits like you're supposed to. For guys like me, I'd be sitting there facing the stern, but either way you want it, you can have it. Good, big live well, the heart and soul of any offshore boat. Well, I like where they put it too, because this is where you're gonna be using your live bait. It's large, it's easy to get into. I have to get you off of it so I can get to my bait, but it's right there. It's also in the center of the boat. Think about it. 60 gallons of water, 420 pounds? Are you kidding me? You're gonna want that in the center of your boat. Well, to help offset that extra weight, you've got the bracket back here. I talked about it earlier, I love a boat with a bracket. It gets the motors back there, gets the stance of the boat wider, you get the flotation of the bracket. Plus, with the way they've rigged these BRPs, you, that is a real swim platform. You're right, it's got a lot more function than just moving those motors back further. It's really a very important piece of the boat. All right, you're always talking about catching big fish. Well, if you happen to get lucky and catch one, I've got a great place up in the bow for you to keep it. Come check it out. All right, look how large this bow is. I love it. 
You've got nice, comfortable seating up here. I've got an insulated fish box on this side. I've got a 50-gallon insulated cooler behind me, additional storage here, storage up forward, and even have a separate anchor lock. They've got enough room up here for even as many fish as I catch. But like you said, everything you need, nothing you don't, there's plenty of room to fight your fish around. You want to take these cushions off and leave them on tournament day? You got plenty of room to fight two, three hooked fish up here. Well, what they've done here with this Dusky as well, with the three-piece construction, you've got a molded inner liner, but then you have a molded ring deck. Instead of the inner liner coming all the way down, so you gain all that room up underneath the gunnel. The boat's wide anyway, but this just gives you the illusion of the boat is much, much wider than what it is, and you haven't lost the use of all that room under That's there. right. It's not an illusion. You actually have a lot more room with room under your gunnels. In fact, they've gone back to the old-style rod racks on the side, which is the best place ever to store your rods while you're running. Well, you got plenty of seating up here for the family. You got plenty of area back there for the fishermen. This is one boat that'll make everybody happy. Because it's everything you need and nothing you don't. It's just flat functional. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. And optics, I mean, the thing that I think Garmin's gonna give me a huge advantage of is actually seeing things real time. What I see in my screen is what I'm casting at. What we always do with traditional sonar is we're looking straight down. And so basically then, as we move forward, we're seeing what's in the past. Well now, actually what you're looking at is what you can throw at and fish. I think it's even gonna get better. I mean, they're making a push forward in the marine bass fishing world that's really second to none. When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew stayed at Pirates Cove Resort and Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we'll be featuring family friendly offshore center consoles in the 26 to 30 foot range. Out of the three boats that we've brought, looking at functionality and amenities, the Century 2600 might be the perfect blend. You're right. Let me tell you something. Talk about maximum range. Unless you're going over 400 miles, this boat is the boat for you. You can run it all day on the twin 200s with the kind of fuel it sips. It's got serious fishing room. It's got serious features that make the boat very functional, whether you're fishing hard or kind of fishing part time. Well, if you look inside too, the little things that they've done with their electrical switching system, it's not just a pair of battery switches you've seen on a lot of other boats. This one, it's an actual complete system, and the motor, when it senses a low voltage, will actually go ahead and charge the batteries using this system. Really? Show it to me. Okay, here's the switch I was talking about. They call it a DVR, and that's not what you watch at home in front of the television. Digital voltage relay. In other words, instead of just a little battery switch, it really controls all the electrical functions on the boat, senses a low voltage, gets charges from the motor, charges your batteries automatically. Really? So anytime the motor's running, if the batteries get low, the motors can sense it, or the switch obviously senses it, sends voltage to the batteries. Right, and that Sweet. way you don't have to do it yourself with all the switches, this whole panel does it all for you. That's a feature after my own heart. As a kid, I once spent a day and a half waiting to get rescued. You know why? Batteries went dead, didn't know it, couldn't even call for help. What I'm sitting on here, you've got a bait prep station with a fresh and salt water wash down, a nice little sink, and a nice big live well with a clear lid that you like. You know about me and clear lids. I've been surprised too many times when I put, took the cover off the lid and found a live well full of dead bait 30 miles offshore. Nothing's worse. I still love transom doors. They serve so many purposes. Divers stepping on, fish of a lifetime sliding through, makes it easier to get on and off the dock in a lot of cases but I'm big on not wasting space. And they've got these gunnel rod lockers that come all the way down, they're lockable, it's an option on this boat. I think it's a great use of space and they also solved an age old problem, opening the ice chest under the rocket launcher. It's on a slide, it slides out, gives you maximum access to your, to your cooler. Well, in over two years of doing Best Boat, we've seen a lot of T-tops, but I love a molded hard top like this. You've got a place for your LED lights, got a place for your speakers, your electronics box, but one thing, especially here in Florida, hot afternoon, these misters make a huge difference in your comfort level. All right, I know we talk about this a lot, but the importance of a proper console fit to the boat is really everything. This console is just the right size for this boat. It's big enough for all your electronics, but it doesn't overpower the boat. The layout is really, really comfortable. You got a footrest down here. You have switches that you can easily see while you're underway. They did a great job with the overall layout. 
have a side entry door, and what I like too is you've got an actual marine head down there in case you bring the family and they want a place to go use the facility. Yeah, but hold on. There's so many little things that enhance the experience that people don't even think about. You start to see these consoles now with these channels here, here, and here. That means three things. You can put a lip here so nothing falls off. You go to run, your cell phone's not coming flying off. But should you get any water up here, it's going to drain right off the top of the console. You're not going to have it sitting there. It's the little tiny things like that that make the difference with a quality builder. You don't even know why you like it better, but you know you do. Well, it just speaks to their heritage. Look, face it, Century's been building boats for a long, long time. They've got the experience to get it right. Let's go forward. This I want to show you what sets this boat apart. Here's where we add a touch of class that sets this boat apart. Let me tell you, there's different scenarios you can use here, Dave. These cushions come off, great place to get fish, throw a cast net, what up? The cushions come on, great place to sit while you're not running hard. This table, you, you first look, it's just a table, but look at how well it's thought out. Look how nicely it fits in here. It's not too big, you don't have to have it out. You can run offshore and leave it right where it is. But you know what we're sitting on, right? We're sitting on two insulated fish boxes. So it's a lot of additional storage if you want to make a long run and keep all your stuff off the deck. But as you catch your fish, if you ga especially if you gaff a big fish here on the bow, drop him right here in the fish box. Oh, it's, it's definitely the best use of space up here. And it's a nice touch when you're not hardcore fishing. The last thing I want to talk about is it's got a built-in anchor windlass up in the bow. You don't see it, but you know there's an anchor underneath there. If you open this door here and you look at the size of that plate, man, it just speaks at the ruggedness of how they put this boat together. They put it together to stay together. It's exactly how they built it. They, you can run it five years, you can run it 30 years. The key functions of this boat are going to be exactly like they were the day you bought it. 26 to 30 foot center consoles are fishing machines that can also be outfitted to cruise your family around in comfort and style and may just be the best boat for you. Okay, hopefully we've shown you this class of center console and how all three boats were similar, but really different. Nothing's out of your range with these, Dave. You want the apex, you want to go for the top of the food chain. These boats can reach them. There's no place for them to hide. Well, not only that too, we've shown you the difference between a boat for hardcore tournament fishing, another boat that can bring the family with a little bit more comfort, and another boat that you can actually sleep on and not need a hotel room. For more information on the three boats that you've seen today, go to our website, floridasportsman.com, go to the boating page, and click on the Best Boat link. Or we'll see you next week on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Be sure to join us next week as we look at catamarans on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Each month, turn to Florida Sportsman for the best in boating and fishing coverage.